Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we will discuss topics about how to push a STAD Pro physical model to the iTwin Analytical Synchronizer. In this particular video, we will take a closer look at the surface objects in our newly created iTwin repository. This repository was created by a push from STAD Pro. In the iTwin repository, all of the STAD Pro surfaces will be listed under the surface members object. If I expand this list, we will be able to see all of the surface objects in this model with their appropriate properties. In addition to that, all of the STAD Pro regions and openings have also been pushed to this repository as surface member modifiers and surface member openings. Now, how does the iTwin Analytical Synchronizer obtain this information from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler? Let's take a moment and return to STAD Pro and review the surface properties that were pushed to the iTwin Analytical Synchronizer. So now as we turn our attention to our STAD Pro Physical Model, which was used to create the iTwin repository, we will be able to review the properties and specifications that were assigned to the surface objects. All of the surface properties are assigned by selecting the surface object and then using the different options that are available in the surface tab of the ribbon. For this particular model, we have assigned surface thickness and material properties to all of the surfaces, along with the attribute and alignment specifications. In addition, several regions and openings have been assigned to the surface objects. To review any of the information in your STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you're going to go to the Spreadsheet tab of the Ribbon Toolbar, and you can review any of the options within the Surface block of tools. Now that we have reviewed the surfaces and the properties assigned to them in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, Let's take a closer look at those surfaces and how they exist in the iTwin Analytical Synchronizer. So here we're going to take a look at all the surface members in this repository. Each surface is given a label. The label includes the attribute, thickness, and material assigned to each surface to help you identify it. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at one of the surface members. To take a closer look at any surface, you can select the checkbox in the objects window or use your cursor to select it in the main window. When a surface is selected, the properties dialog will appear in the left pane with all of the relevant information that was used to define that surface, along with the properties assigned to it. Let's go ahead and examine some of those properties that define the currently selected surface. Now the first field we're going to go ahead and take a look at is the use field and you can see for the currently selected surface it was defined as a slab. In the STAD Pro Physical Modeler you can assign an attribute to any surface in your model to define whether it is a wall versus a slab. This will help any other program that will read this information from the iTwin repository in case that information is required. In addition to that, we're also going to notice that the thickness was assigned in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler and has been correctly pushed over to the iTwin Analytical Synchronizer. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little further. And what we're going to notice is that the material properties have also been assigned to all of the surfaces in the model. Here you can see for this particular surface that we used a custom concrete material property for 4,000 PSI concrete. Now I'd like to know more information about that material that was brought over from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unselect my surface member and I'll be able to find my different types of materials, whether they be steel or concrete, that were brought over from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Here I can see the concrete material type of 
4,000 PSI was brought over, and all of the material properties that are defined in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler Catalog page have also been brought over to define this material property. Now the last property we're going to take a look at for the currently selected surface is the placement surface parameter in our repository. In the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you can specify the alignment of any surface that you create, and your options are top, bottom, or center. What the alignment parameter will do in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler is it'll align the nodes that correspond with the edges of that surface to either the top, the middle, or the bottom of that surface area to make sure that it is modeled in the correct location, and this will be helpful information to have in your iTwin analytical synchronizer. Now that we've gone over our surface members, let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at our surface member modifiers. Now, surface member modifiers are created from regions that are defined in your STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, regions are used to identify differences between the region and the main surface that it is within. This can include different thicknesses, alignments, or loads that are specific to that region and not necessarily the entire surface. Here you can see I'm going to select my first surface member modifier, and I basically used a region to create a drop cap for this particular area at my concrete column locations. The last thing we're going to take a look at for our surfaces is our surface member openings. Now here we can see all of the surface member openings that were created for our particular model. And for this model, we could see that our wall contains a door and a window opening. And those have been brought over in their proper location from your STAD Pro physical modeler. We have now finished reviewing all of our surfaces, regions, and openings that were pushed into the iTwin analytical synchronizer from the STAD Pro physical modeler. In addition to reviewing the surface member objects, we also review the properties and specifications that were assigned to each that were successfully pushed into your repository. At this point, this concludes our discussion of pushing surfaces from the STAD Pro Physical Modeler into the iTwin Analytical Synchronizer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.